Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 21 from the University of Maryland High School Math Competition, which is a competition that I run every October. Let A, B, C, D, E be real numbers with A less than B less than C less than D less than E, the least possible value of the function f from R to R with f of x equals absolute value of x minus A, absolute value of x minus B, absolute value of x minus C, absolute value of x minus D, and absolute value of x minus E, all of these added, is and they gave us five answer choices. So what I'm going to do is because I want to get rid of the absolute values, I'm going to take cases. So the case one would be if x is less than or equal to a. If x is less than or equal to a, f of x becomes, so x minus a is negative, so I will have to write it down as a minus x. So is x minus b, x minus c, x minus d, and x minus e. All of these are negative. And if you write this down, we get a plus b plus c plus d plus e minus 5x. So the slope of this one is negative, which means the minimum for this function would be at x equals a. Now let's assume that x is between a and b, and let's see what happens. So we're going to do the same thing. The very first term becomes positive, so we get x minus a. The rest of the terms are going to remain intact. And what we notice is that there's a constant, so it really doesn't matter what the constant is all that much. But what we get is two of the x's cancel and we get a slope of negative 3, which means the function is going to remain a function of slope negative, which means the um, minimum is going to be at x equals b. Next, we're going to look at what happens when x is between b and c. For that case, x minus b a is positive, x minus b is also positive, the rest are going to be negative. So if we write this down, we are going to get, we have two positive x's and two negative x's, and we have a bunch of constants. So the constant is this, and we get negative x left over. So the function is decreasing still, so the minimum up to here is going to be at x equals c. If we look at after c, what happens between c and d, we are going to get x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. After that, it becomes negative, d minus x and e minus x. At this point, we get negative a minus b minus c plus d plus e, and three x's and two negative x's, so that becomes positive x. So what that means is that at this point, the function becomes increasing. So that means, if I look at the graph of this function, in the beginning, the slope is negative 5, then it becomes negative 3, then it becomes negative 1, and then it becomes positive 1, and then goes back up to 3 and 5, which means the minimum is right when it changes the slope from negative 1 to positive 1. And that is exactly when x is equal to c. So we'll have to plug in x equals c, and when we plug in x equals c, c and negative c cancel, and the answer is minus a minus b plus d plus e. So the answer is e. 